Example instruments one, ADSR. In this example, we will look at how to shape the sound of a note that you play with the tone note on function um, in a way that we manipulate the amplitude over time with the ADSR envelope. ADSR is short for Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release, which describes the four stages of, of this um, amplitude envelope. Um, there is another video in which I describe this in much more length, um, so I kind of assume that you know what an ADSR envelope does. Um, but let's before we get into the actual coding, maybe let's just have a quick look at, at what the, the structure of uh, an instrument actually is in um, the Vellen library. So we have this tone.node.on function, which plays a note. Um, but what actually happens is that um, the currently selected instrument then is triggered to play a note. And here we have a schematic of um, one of these instruments, or like a like a, um, better maybe better better set of of, a, of the standard default internal instrument setup. Um, the it basically co is comprised of a of a like an oscillator, um, a a device that um, creates the actual sound. Um, then the um, amplitude and the frequency of that oscillator can be controlled um, either by um, the ADSR, which is in terms triggered by the node on and also node off um, method from the application. And the frequency is also defined by the node on um, event. Um, then there is a low frequency oscillator to, um, about which we will talk later, which can change the uh, amplitude. And there's another low frequency oscillator which can change the frequency in addition to the, these um, manipulations of amplitude and frequency. And in the end, there's also, uh, after the sound is produced, there is also a low pass filter which can be, um, can be activated to yeah, change the output uh, in yet another way. Um, these three modules are deactivated or disabled by default. Okay, so this is the this is the basic setup of an of an instrument, um, ADSR, two LFOs, an L low pass filter, and a, an oscillator in the center. And um, but let's look into the code. So the first thing we want to talk about is um, how to manipulate this ADSR. Um, I've created now I've, I've copy pasted uh, a little bit of a, a boilerplate code here, which allows me simply to just play a note when I press the mouse button. Okay. Um, so um, as I said, like we are when we call this note on function, we are actually using the um, calling a note on event on the currently selected instrument. Um, by default, it's, it's instrument zero, so we are working now with um, instrument zero here to um, to um, just just so that you know you can change the instrument, um, which is also explained in, in an earlier um, example tutorial already. So what we can do now is um, we can select the instrument with this uh, call to um, dot instrument, which gives us the currently selected instrument. Again, like it's with the ID zero in this case, if we don't change it. Um, and then we have the, um, we can now um, set the four different stages of the, um, of the ADSR envelope. And there are, um, the, the value describes the, um, the, um, the duration of the attack mode. Oh yeah, and before I start, maybe maybe I can, um, I can use a little bit of um, ASCII R to <laughs> make this, to explain this a little bit better. This is something actually I meant to, oh no, wrong place, but still works. So here, we have uh, here like a very nice ASCII art diagram here. Um, which is actually stored as a string in the ADSR class. So here we see um, this is like a like an amplitude envelope. Again, like I'm not going to explain this too much, but now we're talking about the duration of the first stage, the attack stage. Then we 
can also set the duration of the second stage, the decay stage. Then we can um, set the level, not the duration, but the level of the sustain stage with this, with this method. And we can also um, set the release stage, the du duration of the release stage. Again, like just as a little recap, um, attack and decay are durations. Sustain is a level. So this is the time axis, this is the level axis. So sustain is a level value and release is also a um, duration value again. So, um, so with, this, with these methods, we can, we can um, um, change the, the attack, the decay, the sustain, release. Um, I'm just gonna um, put this into key press. So whenever I press a key, I'll change the, I randomly change the, um, the values of these four parameters. By the way, um, this one, the, the duration values are specified in seconds and the sustain value is specified in percentage between zero and one. So, um, so if we set sustain level to one, then it, um, it's, it's the maximum volume of that um, oscillator. And um, in, if we set it to zero, then it's, uh, it's basically turned off the sustain stage. Okay, but this one is actually second. So um, we will, for example, here, we will choose a duration of something between zero and one second. So, um, so if we run this, we hear, so this is kind of the default ADSR set. And now I press a key and we hear it's fading in much slower, then drops to a very low sustain level and then it's faded out quite easily. So. Nice. So this way you can generate a few, a lot of different um, yeah, envelopes really. Um, maybe, maybe just as a, again, like it's, this is something you understand best if you experiment with this, um, but maybe just, just to give you like a um, like rough idea or like a vague idea, I think the most, one of the most important <laughs> Um, parameters in, in the ADSL, of course, is the attack. So if you make that attack really, really short, it becomes a very punchy sound, yeah? Uh, up until it actually starts clicking, yeah? I think this is like, at least on my headphones, it's close to like, like, a, like a really harsh click because the amplitude rises so quickly from zero to maximum level to one that it's um, actually, um, yeah, too much for the, for the ear or for the speaker, so it actually generates this click. And if we make this like very, very long, let's say four seconds, for example, it takes forever to reach its maximum volume. Um, so again, like experiment with this. Um, this is something I'm not gonna live program now because it would take a little bit too long, but in the actual um, example, I've uh, gone through a bit of an extra effort to actually visualize the the envelope, not in ASCII art like down here, but in in processing lines, so um, so that you can actually also get like a visual representation of what's happening there when you um, trigger the tone on event, and when you press a key, you randomly change the values. So so this one, for example, might be interesting. You know, all sorts of different. So this might also be interesting, almost like a. And so on and so on. So this is, um, this is pretty much um, it about the um, ADSR envelope. Um, just as a side note, um, and that will also be used in a later example, but you can also deactivate the AD ADSR. So you only create, um, you only manipulate, then, then you have to manually manipulate the amplitude of the, um, the, the oscillator. Um, 
it's it's uh, but it's turned on by default and automatically controls the um, the amplitude of the oscillator. Okay, but that was just as a side note and a topic for later, really. Okay, see you in the next one. <laughs>